Made it to Hakata Station. All right, so we have Menbe, which is Men Taiko and Senbe together. Oh my god, look at that. Fish egg snacks right there, famous in Hakata. And here is the real Men Taiko, the real fish eggs right here. There's the real, that's what it really looks like. Because like fish eggs come to Hakata. We are heading to Tenjin. Yeah. Tenjin right now. What up, Cash? Wow, so the difference in weather from yesterday and today is absolutely insane. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. It's like 85 degrees right now, pretty hot again. And uh, the sun's out, so we are going to go to uh, Dazai Fu Tenmangu Shrine, uh, which is supposed to be like a shrine for academics. It's pretty awesome. It's in uh, Dazai Fu uh, area, so we're gonna head that way and we'll show you guys what this shrine has to offer. All right, so now we're in a kind of a tea place that sells really good um, wagashi or Japanese snacks as well as tea. We're gonna get some, uh, it's gonna be delicious. And basically Hakata or Fukuoka Prefecture is gonna be a lot of nice foods just for you guys. And here is uh, the theater used for kabuki shows here in uh, Hakata. Whoa, look at that, that is huge. All right, going to a famous tofu restaurant for lunch today. Cannot wait free tea while we wait for our table. Woohoo! If you guys come here, make sure to make a reservation because it is very, very crowded. So we finally made it in. It's called Ume no Hana, or I guess plum, the flower plum in English. And uh, so if you can't even make a reservation for lunch, which is why we have to wait for like, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. Uh, it's really, really nice, really traditional Japanese feeling. So we're gonna have some uh, set, uh, lunch and have some tofu. It should be awesome. Now we have like the tofu remains. <laughs> so basically, after you squeeze the tofu, you get these things. And uh, it's purified version, is what they say. Let's try it. That's bomb. That's really good. That's really refreshing. It tastes like a mixture of rice and tofu. All right, now we have tamushi, which is basically like a pudding with eggs. Oh, it is good. It tastes like a soft boiled egg, a really tasty one. Who are you? Who are you? All right, we're gonna try some shrimp. It's like a shrimp cold soup with like a daikon or radish kind of thing. Wow, very similar close to daikon. So that was number four, dish four. We have uh, six more to go in this meal of set, lunch set of 10 uh, dishes. All right, we're gonna have some yuba tofu skin tempura. That's really good. Now we got these two sticks that no one knows what it is, but they are fried like a tempura. One's green, one's white-ish, beige. That's really good. It's like a mochi. That's really good too. This one's yuzu, a citrus. And this one is a flavor that no one knows. Hinome. Hinome. <laughs> My favorite unagi or eel. Oh my god, ice cream and kinako. Alright, so we just finished our wonderful, delicious lunch. That was absolutely amazing. Cash, how'd you like it? It was so good. Right? Let's go eat it again. Chris, how'd you like it? It was awesome. Amazing. Awesome. So new and fresh and refreshing. Right? Now we're heading to Dai Dai Zai Fu Tenmangu Shrine which is about a 30 minute train ride from here. Yo, we're in Tangen Station, central Fukuoka. Whoa. All right, we got, we got torimeshi, which is famous here. It's basically chicken in a rice ball. You look at that, it says Hakata Meibutsu, or famous food in Hakata. All right guys, we're eating torimeshi, chicken rice ball, famous in Hakata. I think it's just chicken and rice. It doesn't seem too special, but it's famous here. And it's good. This is not from Fukuoka, um, or Hakata, or anything in Kyushu, but bearded papa, baby. I'm really, really hungry for some kind of sweetness thingy, and there's no soft cream around. So, next best thing. Holy moly. You know what flavor this is? Is it good? So 
good. Yo, this is blueberry cheesecake limited edition right here. Usually get the plain, but it's limited edition, only for a certain amount of time, so. Itakimasu. Oh man. Yo, this has literally become a food blog. There's Cash Cash, there's Chris Chris, and there's Boon Boon the cameraman. And there's Millie. I'm Millie, I'm Millie. She's our translator. She's, she's the one. She's the reason why we can eat so much good food because she knows what food to eat. What a baller. We are on our way to the Zaifu Tenmangu Shrine. Supposedly one of the most famous shrines in all of Japan, so looking forward to that. Man, look at this train. Looks like a red bullet train. Fukuoka style, baby. Look, they got like stars on here. Limit Express to Omuta. That's Omuta, isn't it? Omuta. We are looking for a chair. This is a train, as Chris just explained. This is a train cabinet. Piece of nice furniture <laughs> for brochures. <laughs> Chris says there's a better pack cabinet over here. Oh, there is. Look at that. There's nothing on this one. They have food samples on this one. <laughs> Dang, look at this train. Cash was facing the opposite way of me. We made it. Does Aifu. We are on the way to the shrine. Yeah, Waga Pies. The entrance of the place of the shrine, and this is the famous mochi you're supposed to get. Oh, it's an ume burn mark. What's inside? Just uncle? A red bean paste. Alright, yo guys, so we got this mochi that's really famous outside the Desai Fu Ten Mangu Shrine. And uh, it's got a plum stamp Ooh. right there. And uh, it's got red bean paste inside. Let's try it. Oh wow, that's really good. I like the way they, what is this, grill it? Is that what it's called? Grilling it? I like the way they grill it. Kind of tough on the bottom, which is really, really good. One more Fukuoka food down and about 50 more to go. So what do you know? I end up with a soft cream. Do you know why? Because this one is ume, or a sour plum soft cream. First time seeing this one. Whoa, that's real, real ume. Oh my god, that's really good. Whoa, it's actually a little bit, it's got a sour ting to it. Okay, so this this shrine has a lot of history behind it and I don't want to botch it, so we got another Japanese person to explain it for me. So what's the guy's name? Sugawara Michizane. Su Sugawara Michizane, and he was originally from Kyoto. Yeah. But he got boosted from Kyoto because he was a bad boo, bad guy. Well, some political reason. Some political reason they got he moved to Fukuoka and then he kind of created this prefecture. Like he helped develop it. This prefecture or city? Fukuoka city? I think city. Fukuoka city. And and he's enshrined in this uh, in this shrine that we are right now, the Dai Dazai Fu Tenmangu shrine. And he's also the god of education. Yep. And um, he also brought an ume tree or a sour plum tree, which is why he brought it. He he grew it. Maybe that was a gift from. Someone. Maybe a gift from someone. But that's why ume or sour plum uh, stuff is everywhere around here. Like this, uh, the mochi we just ate was called ume. Uh, this was also ume flavored ice cream. So that's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. Let's keep going. And the restaurant we just had for lunch was also called Ume no Hana because of this place as well. So everything's called Ume around here. Yay, Ume people. Okay, we're at another soft cream place. And look at this. This place has tofu soft cream and also soba noodle uh, soft cream. How cool is that? All right, our second soft cream of the day. I've got tofu soft cream. Yes, you heard that right. Tofu soft cream. Holy cow. It literally tastes like tofu. I need some soy sauce on here and then I'm good to go. This is so fun. Like, it's like a 20 minute walk to the shrine. But there's all these shops and restaurants and all these places selling omiyage or souvenirs. Absolutely love it. I can't, I mean it's really bad for me because I just buy all the foods and eat the, all the foods before I even get to the shrine. And by the time I get to the shrine, I'm like, oh, I'm so tired and full. But we're gonna gambaru, do our best, and um, not eat so much. Smile for the camera, ladies. See the symbol on those light posts? That is a symbol for ume. Right there, that cow is literally holy. It's a holy cow. <laughs> we finally made it to the shrine. Let's explore. This is like the biggest one I've ever seen to wash your hands before you enter a shrine. This is insane. 
So because uh, this guy's the god of education, um, there's all these uh, places to get charms for it. Like that one says Jukgen Gokaku, or it means to uh, success to pass your entrance exams, um, which is kind of interesting. So you see probably many young people um, at this shrine. We are right outside, but it is so hot. I think I need another soft cream. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's another holy cow. Hello. Good luck, good luck, holy cow. Holy cow. All right, so I'm gonna get one of these, some of fortunes, uh, it's 100 yen. So you just put the 100 yen in here, as it says here, and then you're gonna pick one out of the drawer from here. So let's get one. Oh, 100 yen into here, pick one out. Yes! So I'm gonna have Millie read it out in uh, cause it's all in Japanese. Dang, I got the best one. It says Dai Ichiban. Dai Kichi. Dai Kichi. Like Dai Kichi is the best. Oh snap! What does it mean though? That's the question. Okay, so in translation, she's gonna try to translate the best she can in English, so go ahead. And you're gonna get all the glory all in once. Oh. Please be calm. Okay. You're gonna succeed in some artsy stuff and also your thinking skills are gonna go high. Nice. Everything is gonna go so well. Be careful not to go crazy because you might lose your fortune there. So basically don't take advantage of my glory once yeah. I get it, okay. And wait, what about the loved one? Oh. I'm gonna find my loved one soon. <laughs> soon? All your wishes are gonna go as you want it. All my wishes will come true, so I better make as many wishes as I want right now, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I guess if you have a good one, you keep it. And if you have a bad one, you tie it up over there like you normally do. But I got the best one, so I'm gonna keep it in my wallet. Safe to my heart. All right, so we finished the shrine, and now we're gonna take a little break. We're finally gonna eat the mochis that we bought uh, in the beginning. There we go. Nice. Now we're gonna head to a uh, themed like Starbucks. Wow, wow, look at this Starbucks. That looks awesome. So supposedly there's 15 concept stores or 15 themed Starbucks in all of Japan, and this is one of the 15. Getting some Starbucks coffee after some nice Japanese treats. So the theme of this concept Starbucks store is modern uh, shrine. It's like a modern shrine. Ice cafe latte with a lot of honey. We are on our way back to the hotel. In case you guys are wondering, that looks like the inside of a ticket gate. <laughs> that looks really, really complicated. Look at that. Holy moly macaroni. It's a lot of functions. All right, we just left our hotel and now we are eating. World of Nightlife is gonna happen here near Hakata uh, in Fukuoka Prefect. There's a bunch of you know fun stuff to do here, so definitely check it out. We're gonna check out some yatai, some local uh, restaurants. Oh wow, so here we are. These local restaurants. These are awesome. Whoa. Dinner next to rivers right here. This is beautiful. So those are really awesome. I guess you can really feel like the Japanese local traditional feel. We're in Nakasu area, um, so definitely check that out. That guy, what's he doing? I don't know. Oh my god, look at this boat. That's like a part, not a party boat. That's, like, that's gotta be a party boat. Come on, look at that thing. That thing's awesome. This one is definitely like a restaurant boat. That ain't a party boat. <laughs> That's nice though. So like walk around this area, I really feel like it's a, it's like a toned down Osaka, which I love. So, awesome to you, Hagata. Oh yeah. 
I think there's a festival going on, but that's all good. This guy's working it. Well, I'm not gonna lie, this place is absolutely popping right now. Really enjoying it. Oh my God. Michael Jackson. Wow. What is this Fukuoka? This is so awesome. What is that? Wow. That looks so cool. Sweet, we made it. Four seats just for us. Yeah! Asahi, baby. Come by to you guys. Oh, snap. <laughs> what up, big boys? Oh my god, we have a hula show now. I love you, Hakata. What? Hey, Nambon. Nambon Janai. Okay, so our next door neighbor just gave us a kitten, so we gotta finish our Asahi. Alright, okay, we got it, we got a kitten. We're gonna try kitten. Alright, we got we got we got Mentaiko over here. Famous Fukuoka. in uh, Fukuoka. Did you guys like the fish eggs? Yeah. I'm just trying it now. I wanna eat it with a bagel and cream cheese. <laughs> next we have my favorite. Mm. So now I know why Michaela, who's a famous YouTuber who lives in Fukuoka, recommends these, these yatai, these um, Japanese style restaurants because you get the local feel, really friendly people, loving it, get the beer, yeah! Oh, we got the borio ase, the combination, tempura. I'm slowly turning red, mind the redness. Mm. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Sazae. Slowly turning red. You can see it right here. Becoming a panda. Seashell fish, here we come. Whoa, whoa. It tastes like an ocean. <laughs> like a country ocean. Not country, crunchy ocean. Okay, we are finished. That place was awesome. Highly recommend these food stalls. I'm so red. Anyways, today was a fun day in Fukuoka. First day in Fukuoka Prefecture. Absolutely loved it. And uh, once again, we are going to uh, explore more Fukuoka tomorrow. This is the first day of Kyushu, so stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. And once again, this is Odigo 47, where we're traveling to Old 47 Prefecture, so stay up to date because we'll be vlogging every single day. And if you don't know what Odigo is, it's the travel website that offers local and exclusive information all about Japan. So check the link in the description down below, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!